Hello everyone, let us get started with this SOLIDWORKS tutorial. I'm your host Leon Diaz and I'm going to show you how to easily design a spar gear without messing with all the equation driven curves for our gear profiles. To design a gear, uh, we are referencing to a document that I have found online. And here there are some standard sizes given for spar gears. Uh, in this particular situation, to give an example, I'm using a diametral pitch of 24. For those of you who don't know what diametral pitch is, it is the number of teeth per inch. For this particular example, I'm going to show you a gear that has 18 teeth. I mean, this particular gear. So, let's get started. Definitely, I'm going to start a new part. And uh, the first important thing to check your unit. Here I have MKS here, so I'm going to change it to IPS because um, all of our measurements are in just. I have calculated some stuff which we are going to need to design this gear, and it's given in here. As you can see, most of the calculations are the, have done in inches, but if you want to do it otherwise, you can always convert it to your desired units. We'll start with the top plane and sketch. First of all, we're going to draw three circles. The first one being the inside circle or the inner diameter. Here we have the inner diameter 167 inches. We can use this equation to find the inner diameter. Um, number of teeth are 18. So it's going to be 18 minus 2 divided with 24, which is our diameter of each, and we get 0.67 inches for the outside diameter this formula I found from this PDF is given here outside diameter speed diameter plus 0 0.803 inches so overall it's 0.833 inches so let us draw another circle which is 0.8 inches and now we are going to draw the pitch circle or the pitch diameter circle in this particular situation the pitch die is 0 0.750 as you can see in here so we'll put the dimension 0.750 select and we will make the middle circle which is the pitch circle construction geometry this is going to help us further down the road now after we have drawn these three circles what I like to do uh, is starting with the center line from the center of these three circles and pull it up on the middle top this is going to be a perpendicular center line then I'm going to draw an abstract gear profile using three point arc. So I'll start from the top circle, I'll finish in the bottom circle, and I'm just going to give an arbitrary arc. This is going to be our potential gear profile. Now, what I like to do is taking a center line from the center. Connect it through this point. Select. I'm going to give a relation between this line and this arc. By pressing Ctrl, I'm selecting this line and this arc. And when I'm letting it go, where I can put some really useful relations. In this case, I'm going to use the tangent relation. Now, this is one of the most crucial part in this design. We want to take a center line. You can also take a point for doing this, but I'm much more comfortable using a center line. So, I'm going to make a horizontal line. As you can see, this horizontal line is giving me an end point. Now, I'm going to select mode again. And now, we have two put a very important relation between this arc 
a pitch circle and this end point of the horizontal line where I'm letting it go it is showing me a relation which is an intersection it means these three geometries are intersecting each other in this point it is actually defining me a point which I can use later and now I'm going to define the pressure angle in this particular case the pressure angle is given 14.5 degrees I'm starting from this <coughs> central line ending is somewhere in here go to select mode again I will make this arc and the new central line tangents then I'm going to put another relation the line excuse me the point that we have got before and the newly drawn central line we're going to make a coincident relation this is actually our pressure angle and we're going to define this right now 14 and a half degrees we are almost there to create our gear profile just another thing so now what we like to do we like to define this angle and look very carefully this angle is going to be 90 degree divided with the number of teeth in this case the number of teeth are 18 so I'm going to just write here 18 hit enter and it's going to just show me the angles 5 degrees now why did I actually do this let me demonstrate in this case it has 18 teeth that means 18 teeth and 18 gaps will fulfill 360 degrees it means that 18 teeth will fulfill only 180 degrees but here we have the distance between half of the teeth so it will obviously take 90 degrees that is the reason we are dividing 90 with 18 so our gear profile is pretty much complete but we only have half of it we have to, we have to mirror this thing boom now what do we need to do trim off the unnecessary geometries as you can see I have made a closed geometry which we can extrude so we are going to do that right now it's point 0.1 inches let us check as you can see the face is 0 0.250 inches but you can give the face as your requirement it's not mandatory that you have to give 0 0.250 inches this is the number that the face is rated for anyway And um, we have our gear, but partially we have our gear with only one teeth. And what we should do right now is giving some fillers because these edges are seems pretty rough to me. And if you are using this design to 3D print, I think it's better if you give some fillers. It will definitely help for stress removal. So I was given 0.1. Let me just input 0 0.05 let's see how big does it go and you can see it's pretty big so we have to make it smaller make 0 0.005 inches now we are going to make a circular pattern features linear pattern on the pull down menu we are getting a circular pattern option now what we're going to do is we're going to features and faces and we'll going to select the faces first in this case I'm going to select these faces so all the new faces are selected and we're going to replicate these faces equal spacing 360 degrees the number of teeth are 18 and the direction 
will be this circle. Now you're going to see the preview of the new gear. Hit or OK. Now we have the gear. So that's how you easily design a gear and you can use all the number of gears and they will mesh properly as long as the diameter pitches are same. No matter what is their pitch diameter or number of teeth, they will always mesh as long as the diameter pitch is same. Just remember that. And we can do some more work in here. I'm going to sketch on this face. Let me sketch a circle one inches. Let me take a rectangle. Point three inches. Sorry. Point zero three inches and make it point zero six inches. From here to here, 0 0.06 just And now we are just going to make a groove slot in here. Student cut to next. Hit OK. So now we have hole for the shaft. And this is our gear. I hope this is going to help you easily create your gear design. Feel free to knock me if you are stuck in anything. Let me know how is the tutorial in the comments. Apologies if I do anything wrong. I hope this is going to help you. Stay tuned for more tutorials. And let me know in the comments how was the tutorial. Thank you all.